Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and in this video we're going to continue on with our Python regular expressions. So in this video what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about literal characters and character classes. So what are literal characters? So what are literal characters? So I told you that regular expressions are used to match the string, right? So here is a test string which we are going to provide with and we are going to write an regular expression here which matches the test string, at least a part of a test string. So let's just uh, type a random test string here. For example, let's say that uh, the crazy crazy Python regular expressions okay and and now the first method we're going to check is the literal characters so when I talk about literal characters you literally type in the the character which you would want to match for example if you wanted to match the regular here then you would just type regular you would match them so that is literal characters you literally type them in there let's just quickly switch to python and when i hit the regular here it's going to do the same that's what i told you regular expressions are same throughout any languages so let's just stick on with python the next one is character classes when we talk about character classes the way we perform the matching is we use this square brackets okay and we use capital p and small p okay to denote that either match capital p or match small p okay and then outside we type y t h o n what this does is it either matches capital P Y T H O N or small p Y T H O N. If we had here Python, then that would be matched. But what if we had P P Y T H O N? It doesn't match the capital P over here. It instead matches P Y T H O N here. So that is the work of this square brackets in there. So how else can we use the square bracket? Again, if you are asked to match the vowels here, then you could use A E I O U, A E I O U. Okay, both the small letters and capital letters and matching all the vowels. So in this way, we'll be able to match all the vowels. Not only that, if you would want to match numbers, okay, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, do you keep typing like that? No, there is an easier way to do this. You just type 0 and use hyphen and you use the 9. This one matches the numbers from 0 till 9, including 0 and 9, okay. So if we had numbers here, they would again be matched. So that is the job of the square bracket along with the hyphen in there. The same thing you could apply continuously to other characters too. A to Z and A to Z. That would basically match everything apart from spaces and special characters, right? That is one way in which you could use them. And one last thing I would like to tell is using of this character along with a to Z. What do you think happened? This little character here denotes that match everything else apart from these. Okay, so what it did was it matched everything else apart from A to Z, a small a to small z. So that is why these things are matched and the capital letter here is matched and the comma and the space is also matched. So that is all about the literal characters and character classes.